Hey guys, I have a confession to make. I failed you. When I started making daily videos, I set a goal for myself and I'm not going to hit that goal. I broke down. Today I'm getting a haircut. Because this is too long. The initial plan was to not get a haircut until I went back to work so you could kind of see my descent into being a caveman. But I have no idea when I'm getting back to work. So, yeah. Excuse me for a couple of minutes. A few inches later. <sighs> It may be a big shock, but believe me when I say that before the shutdown, I was all about the zero fade. Right now, I wanna to talk to the people watching this who aren't working. That's right, if you still have a job, click away from this video. I'm kidding, don't click away, keep watching. To my unemployed peeps, have you noticed yourself drinking earlier in the day and becoming lax about it? Maybe you used to hold out until five and then one day you thought to yourself, you know, 4.37 is practically five, so what's the big deal? You stick to this rationale and then all of a sudden, you're drinking at 10 a.m. Not that I'd know. Which brings me to today's topic, breakfast cocktails, which was suggested by a subscriber who's also a friend of mine. Sarah, thanks for the tip. This one's for you. First up, one of the all-time classic morning drinks, the Irish coffee. There's something magical about the union of Irish whiskey, coffee, sugar, and cream. <sighs> and before we go any further, Irish coffee is not coffee and Bailey's. The Irish coffee is a drink with known and traceable origins, and as delicious as coffee and Bailey's may be, an Irish coffee it is not. So real talk, this is a simple drink, but there's one easy trick you can do to make it legendary, and it has to do with the whiskey. This drink was put on the map by the Buena Vista in San Francisco, and they use Tullamore Dew, which is a great choice, but if you really want this drink to blow you away, use something pot still like Redbreast, or its less expensive cousin Powers. Because I strive for perfection, and because I'm going to be the one drinking it, I'm using Redbreast. This stuff is expensive, but worth it. Makes a mean old fashioned too. Also, this drink is supposed to be served in an Irish coffee glass, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna be using a coffee mug, which has advantages of its own. Namely, that everyone on the Zoom meeting will think you're drinking regular old coffee. Here's how to make the drink. First, preheat your mug with boiling water. Next, pour four ounces or so of heavy cream into your shaker tin and partially whip. Don't overshake and make sure to keep your thumbs on the back because the cream will expand. Empty the mug, add two sugar cubes, a little coffee, and stir to dissolve. Add an ounce and a half of whiskey, fill with black coffee, layer the cream on top, and you're done. Top of the morning. Like I said before, there's nothing wrong with using Jameson or Tullamore Dew in a drink like this, but if you go with something pot still, there's a very pleasant graininess that comes through. The whiskey's also much more complex, just makes a much better drink. You could use two ounces, but these drinks are meant to be enjoyed during the day. You will want a second one, and being drunk at two in the afternoon is a recipe for a day wasted. If you're concerned you won't taste an ounce and a half of whiskey, another trick is to use a smallish mug, like this one. I was initially going to do three drinks, but then I wanted to do more, so instead of one really long video, this is going to be the first in a series. But on a serious note, don't let the lockdown turn you into an alcoholic. I don't endorse drinking at 10 a.m., and I discourage you from doing the same. I mean, unless you're in Vegas or New Orleans, in which case, game on. If you liked it at like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if you have a favorite breakfast cocktail, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, follow the advice professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow.